Good evening. It's 9 p.m. here in South Korea. Thank you for joining us on Arirang News. We start with President Yoon seok yeols expected summit with Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida as the Japanese leader is likely to visit Seoul this weekend. This is seen as a being way to resume active diplomacy between the two countries and strengthen cooperation between Seoul, Washington and Tokyo. Our Han Sung-woo leads our coverage tonight. Seoul and Tokyo are in the final stages of negotiating a summit between South Korean President Yoon seok yeol and Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida in Seoul this Sunday, May 7. That's according to a senior official from South Korea's top office, who said that Tokyo had wanted Prime Minister Kishida to make a trip to Seoul since quite a while ago. Contrary to some observations that his visit would take place around the summer, it's been said that South Korea and Japan had already started negotiations for an earlier summit even before President Yoon's state visit to the United States late last month. The two countries are reportedly discussing terms to simultaneously announce the upcoming summit on Tuesday. And if it happens, it would mark the first time a Japanese prime minister visits South Korea in five years. Considering it would be held just over 50 days after their summit in Tokyo, South Korea is viewing it as the complete resumption of regular reciprocal trips or what the two nations' leaders called shuttle diplomacy. Kishida's upcoming visit will come before South Korea, Japan and the U.S. likely join forces for a trilateral summit in a few weeks on the sidelines of the 49th G7 summit in Hiroshima, to which Yoon was invited by Kishida back in March. It's still being arranged, but the three nations are expected to discuss security cooperation against North Korea's nuclear threats. Some diplomatic sources are even projecting a trilateral consultative body on extended deterrence to be newly launched. But according to a senior South Korean official, negotiations on that haven't begun yet. The latest developments come just days after Yoon and U.S. President Joe Biden signed the Washington Declaration to further strengthen the ironclad ROK-U.S. alliance, a move that has angered not just Pyongyang, but also Beijing and Moscow. China and Russia's foreign ministries have claimed the new accord destabilizes regional security and increases tensions. Han Sung-woo, Arirang News.